I don't think I'm especially unattractive. But I used to work with this woman who clearly thought I was. I remember once the topic of ugly people came up. I happened to be looking down and she reached out and pulled up my chin. Looked into my eyes and said, but we know is what's inside that counts. So I guess my answer is people making a point of playing up your personality and non. Physical good qualities. When the only person who has ever called you handsome is a stripper. When people say you look like someone famous. And that famous person is not attractive. Two of the worst I got were Meatloaf, which ain't bad. The Dude Rocks. And Corey from Porn Stars. Which made me re-evaluate my life. My 4 year old son yesterday when I was putting moisturizer on. Daddy. What's that? That's my face cream to keep me looking pretty. That's not pretty. Thanks very much son. You must be using the wrong cream daddy. Brutal. When you post a bikini pic and people congratulate you on your bravery. When drunk people sober up when you try to make a move on them. The opposite sex has never hit on you. I just tell myself shy girls are only attracted to me. If you ever tried to make a self-deprecating joke and everyone is visibly uncomfortable. I think this one is surprisingly accurate. When you use Tinder for about a month. And it runs out of people to show you. And there's no matches. Meaning everyone in a 10 mile radius with Tinder looked at your pic and thought nope. Also believe me. I didn't set my standards too high. Edit. In done with Tinder. I'm not looking for advice or tips. I've been at this for 3 plus years and heard it all. I've decided to just delete the app and move on. When you're going out with a group of friends and the opposite sex pays literally no attention to you. Oh boy. Story of my life. Less a sign of unattractive than it is of being thoroughly average. But if other people seem to spontaneously forget that you exist the instant an attractive person enters the room. I'd say chances are that you're good. Looking enough to be an acceptable choice and to pay attention to normally. But not enough to compete with the obvious first choices. This is how it goes with a buddy of mine. Once he enters the room it's like other men cease to exist. But he's also completely fucking oblivious to it. You could be making progress with a girl. He shows up. Now she's after him. And you're standing there thinking well great. Now nobody is getting this girl's number. When you're joking around with a friend insulting each other and the friend calls you ugly, the rest of the group either jumps to your defense, gasps, or otherwise looks uncomfortable. Source. Grew up somewhat ugly lol. 1. When someone gives an approving look to your good looking friend, shifts their gaze to you, and their expression just drops. 2. You always, always get served last at the bar if the opposite sex is serving. When your bro's girlfriend offers to hook you up with her single ugly friend. Even though she has many other very attractive single friends. Guys in high school made a list of their female classmates and ranked them by attractiveness. I expected to be at the bottom. But I wasn't even in it. This probably doesn't apply to being unattractive but more to being not that attractive. When they put in little effort. You might get them interested in a date but it's low priority. If you're attractive they'll make time. Not so attractive it's like may I have nothing to do on next day. Why not? When you're playing spin the bottle. And it lands on the hottest chick. But she says that if you try it she'll break the bottle and cut you with it. When every girl you're interested in tells you how sweet you are and that you'll make someone else so happy someday. When you're on an online dating site and everybody you message looks at your profile but never replies. Well. I accepted the fact that I'm not pretty when strangers wouldn't sit next to me on a subway unless absolutely necessary. Which means the subway is full like a can of sardines. On your social media your profile picture isn't a picture of you. Extra points if it's a cartoon or anime character. When your grandma tells you what a handsome man you are. And you have to remind her that you're a girl. When you look in the mirror and see that you are not attractive. When the attractive girl hugs every other guy but just says hello to you. Edit. Burns worse if the girl is your crush. When the girl sitting next to you in 6th grade Spanish literally turns away when the teacher tells you to work together. Then when she tells the teacher I don't want to work with him the teacher looks at you and says you can do this assignment by yourself. I've always gone by if the person takes a second look at you you're either attractive or hideous. If they don't bother you're not worth it. When you go into a haunted house. You come out with a job application. When you're introduced to a new group. How nice they treat you. Particularly the pretty girls. 
If people are usually pretty cold, you're not an attractive person. Children cry when they see your face. When picking out a group picture nobody cares if you turned out well. When they ask you to take the group photo. When you look out the window and get arrested for indecent exposure. When you're having a hypothetical conversation about dating or relationships and someone has to say not that I'd ever date you or they can't even have the conversation because they have to make it really clear that they wouldn't date you to the point you forget what dating relationship thing you were even talking about. It's really distracting because you don't want to date them and now you suddenly feel insulted for some reason. My mom had to tie a pork chop around my neck so the dogs would play with me. People don't spontaneously or enthusiastically take pictures of you. I have an acquaintance who is really gorgeous and photogenic. Most of her Facebook posts are her doing these spontaneous photo shoots with her friends. Where they do all these yoga dance poses, jokey model poses, just normal selfies, etc. People just want to take her picture. Another dude I know is also pretty good looking, like normal attractiveness, and looking through his pictures. People just take lots of random pictures of him being spontaneously goofy and funny. For people who are less attractive, taking pictures is more forced. You have to ask people if they can take a picture of you. People kinda reluctantly agree, but they want to get it over with. You won't have many pictures that capture spontaneous fun or goofing around because you had to stop and ask someone. It'll be a quick hey, we're hanging out selfie, but we also probably won't look at the picture together. I notice with the more attractive photogenic people, not only are there more pictures, but people want to look through them and comment on how awesome they are. When the person is trying on clothes and asks for opinions on what to wear, and the response is, it doesn't much matter, anything will do. When there's only one seat left on the bus and it's next to you yet the bus is full of people standing up. No matter how I look at it, it's you guys fault I'm not popular. Double quote. When you're all dolled up and no one hits on you, or even bothers to make eye contact. When you only have guy friends and the only girlfriends you have are you guy friends girlfriends. If you're a guy and you've been told on multiple occasions you're being creepy, even when you're doing some innocuous, there's a good chance you're ugly. Being extremely overweight. I gave a 250 plus pound co-worker an orientation at a hospital once, and introduced her to the staff. You could see a bit of disgust on their face when they met her, not to mention the self-deprecating jokes she kept saying about being a footy and whatnot. It was 4 hours of cringe for me. When blind kids are scared of you, that's how you know you're ugly on the inside. In the high school yearbook I was the male half of the most unlikely couple with an attractive, popular girl. If your phone battery lasts all day. One time when I was in my early 20s there was this super cute girl at Starbucks that I was crushing on. And one day I got the courage to tell her I only come here every day cause of you. You are super pretty and she says thanks sport so yeah if you try and flirt with a girl and she responds with thanks sport you are probably unattractive lol. When your 10 year old brother asks why don't you have a girlfriend, is it because you're ugly I mean he's young so it wasn't malicious but damn if it didn't sting a little. Tell other people how attractive you are, if they think you're a cocky asshole, you're attractive, if they commend your optimism and motivation, sorry, you're ugly, get 8 hours of sleep, feel great in the morning, and then hear wow you look so tired from multiple people. Basically I have the exhausted meth head look down pat. When you work on a bar with several other girls and a drunk customer says to your boss, you've got some lovely looking girls working here. Lovely girls. Except that one. She's ugly. Pointing at me. I didn't even think I was that ugly. Not beautiful but not hideous. I had a great figure as well which always helps ha ha. Then I got fat and the wolf whistle stopped so that's a clear sign all the pretty is gone that I had very little of. When you're laughing at all these comments and realize you're laughing because they're relatable. When your 90 year old great grandma is talking about how beautiful every girl in the family is and when she gets to you she says and you drew. Are so so smart and that is what counts. Looking in the mirror is the most obvious. Also a girl that friendzoned me said she wanted to set me up with someone, but couldn't find anyone matching my league. 